All right, like almost everything, rental costs are up and the need for housing is bigger than ever. Apartment complexes are asking that you make three times the amount of income. So, you know, if you can find an apartment for $800, you know, that's $2,400 most people's income. If their own SSI may only be, you know, uh, $810 a month. More and more homeless camps are popping up around the city and Southeast Healthcare is going inside. Their outreach team is going beyond delivering food and supplies. They're putting a focus on both physical and mental health and the fentanyl pandemic. New at 6 tonight, photojournalist Bram Folk takes us along with the team providing resources in South Columbus. You need some water or anything? I've been doing this, working with the homeless population since 1994. What I've seen is it's increased over time. There's more and more homeless people. The shelters have had to get bigger. Um, and everything's kind of busting at the seams. Being in Ohio, we have a lot of wooded areas, and I'd say 75% of the homeless people right now are in wooded areas or living in camps. And uh, the system overall seems to keep pushing them further back into the woods. We go out and our primary focus is to find people who have mental health issues and get them linked with Southeast to mental health. We can get them hooked up with primary health care. We can get them hooked up with AOD stuff because there's a lot of heroin and other drug use that goes on. We have outpatient programs where we can get them in partial hospitalization stuff. And we have doctors from Mount Carmel that would actually come with us, bring medications, administer the meds right then, and stop an infection that could potentially kill this individual. We're doing it right now, I think. I'm a peer specialist, so that means I've had similar problems in the past. I try to use my experience to help the clients that I interact with out in the world. There's been a wave of overdoses in the country um, that has increased a lot with the uh, spread of fentanyl through the uh, illegal drug systems. Originally, they would use it to adulterate or amplify heroin. Now, uh, drug dealers will put it in fake pills, marijuana, uh, cocaine and amphetamines. There's basically no street drug that you buy nowadays that doesn't have a risk of having fentanyl in it. Do you guys need any more Narcan? We hand out the Narcan to drug users and to concerned citizens and uh, people who have a drug user in their family. Every time you save someone with Narcan, they get another chance to, you know, solve their problems. I love my job. I like going to the camps. I like being out in the community and I love my clients. A lot of them are really interesting people. Most of them have like real serious trauma histories and have lived through things that you can't even imagine. All right, today was the deadline for people to leave a homeless camp in East Columbus. The city says they got many complaints about the camp on East Mound Street and it became a public safety and trespassing issue. The relocation process started yesterday. People are being moved to a nearby hotel.